Good morning, everybody. I like to call this video Midnight Chats While I'm Morphing with Chip. Because it's still chipped. Get it? I'm home. I got home yesterday afternoon. It was a rough car ride. But we made it. Nice to be back in my own bed. My pup was very happy to see me. And the first night, he didn't get to sleep with me. But he slept right out my door. And uh, if I moved or made a noise, he got up to make sure I was okay. Um, had to go to the doctor today and get my antibiotics and learn how to give it to myself. And did not realize I was going to have... 94,000 balls to put in my fridge. I get three balls of antibiotics a day. Each one takes about 30 minutes. <clears throat> Gotta do it for six weeks. And, um, so far, nothing has grown on the cultures yet. Which is good news, but well, we're still keeping an eye on everything, <clears throat> just in case. And I'm totally going to say it. I'm wearing Depends right now. And you may judge me, and that's okay, because you're an asshole. And you have no idea what I'm going through. But. I can't get up on my own. So. I thought it would be smart. To get them. Just in case. I could not. Make it to the restroom. Because there were times in the hospital. Where. It would take me forever to get a nurse to come in to get me to use the bathroom. So, yeah, can't get up on my own. I do not have uh, the strength to shift my leg over. I can't even really lift it. Kind of just like getting an implant. Um, I don't know if that'll change and if I'll get strength back to move it on my own, but it hasn't happened yet. And um, it takes me a while to just stand up from my bed. <clears throat> Got all of my equipment yesterday. My lovely walker and my toilet seat and my wheelchair that I get to roam around in. But, um, as far as that, as for our, all of everything, doing okay at home. Uh, just gotta go to this disease doctor once a week to get my 94,000 balls and syringes and alcohol pads and heparin and all that fun stuff because I have to put it through my pick line and um not hard. It's very easy. 
just gotta be careful that, uh, you know, I don't know, get germs on the stuff. Um, because I don't want to get worse or stay infected or whatever. Anyway, my pup is now sleeping next to me. He's actually right next to my hip. And, uh, he's very happy to be in my bed. Um, again, thank you to those who are chit-chatting with me, staying updated and asking me how I am. And you know what I've noticed? Those people who are so adamant about helping you after surgery, I will be there. You let me know what you need. I will do anything. Just call, text me any time of the night, day. You just do it and I will be there. I will come and walk your dog every single time. Or you can call me and ramble on about how bad it is, what's going on, family, and friends, both. Both of you guys. <laughs> there are quite a few people who say that shit. And guess what? No. They're so full of it. And that's okay. Because I know where I stand with you. And on that note, you won't hear from me because I don't need your help. Plus, you'll never help me anyway. And that's okay. Because whatever. I don't need those people in my life. Damn people. If you're going to help somebody or talk, say call them Call me if you need me, even to chit chat, and I don't hear from you, or you give me a very short response, I sure as hell know you're full of shit. That's okay. Because I know who you really are. And there are several people who have done this at every single surgery that I've had. And that's okay. Because I just smile and don't need that. Don't need that. And I don't need to tell you in person because you know who you are. And I'm sure you're those people are going, huh, is this about me? Yeah, it is. It is. You're right. You are right. But enough about those people because I don't really care about them. I have some really awesome friends and really awesome family that is helping and um, that's all that matters. And they are truly there. And I can bug them anytime I want. And um, I think I'm going to the bathroom right now. Hold on. No, not doing it yet. It's weird. It's weird having a diaper on because I'm scared it's going to leak. And then I just wore it for no reason. 
Mm. Anyway. I'm doing okay. That's all you need to know. The bad news is I will not be able to do the Super Bowl even though my PA claims uh, I can and he's going to come as my medical assistant and get me around. It's not how it works. I have to be able to run the length of the football field and right now I can barely get to the bathroom in 38 fucking minutes. So there's no way it's going to happen. Plus the second surgery is a week before I have to be in Atlanta. So that really sucks. But next year it's in Miami and I will be better. And um yeah. And hopefully I will be better by February for a couple of uh, shows and March as I have work to do need to get back to work um I haven't gotten too bored yet cause well I've only been home for about hmm not even 48 hours um, but just wanted to give everyone an update and we'll continue this midnight chats while on morphine with Chip. I know it's not midnight. I was asleep and now I'm awake, but I still like the damn name. I'm going to keep it because I'm on drugs. A lot of drugs. Anyway, my dog's snoring now. And, um, that's all. That's all I have for you today. Everybody have a good Monday. Happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day to my godfather, my uncle, my dad, my friends, all the people on my Facebook. Uh, thank you for your service and I hope everyone has a good day and we'll chit chat later bye